So we are here in beautiful Chapel Hill, North Carolina, home of, you guessed it, the University of North Carolina Tar Heels. Go Heels! A lot of students rent some apartments and things out here. So someone else came out and diagnosed that the reversing valve on this heat pump was stuck in cooling when they were trying to run heat. And yeah, it's getting ready to start raining here a little bit. But anyway, quick way to do that. They couldn't be here. Said they couldn't be here till later in the afternoon and a little bit of a drive to get over here that late in the afternoon and deal with the traffic trying to get out of here. So a little quick little tip. What well, you see I've done, I've disconnected the outdoor fan right there from the defrost board. I'm gonna jump out O, Y, get this outdoor unit running without the fan on. We're gonna run that head pressure up, see if we can get this thing to come loose. If not, then uh, it definitely is confirmed a bad reversing valve. So, let's see, where's my other phone, right here, so those are going to be my pressures kind of as it sits, I'm going to reach over here and reset this board, there we go, and the headlamp's already going out. So it's no big deal. I'm recharge it. What I'm going to do is we're going to run this thing. I'm going to run that head pressure up. And uh, as soon as I de energize that reversing valve, it should switch. So we're going to get this thing up to close to about 400 psi. And I'm going to de energize that reversing valve. And we're going to see if this thing will switch over into heat mode. If not, then we're pretty much confirmed. But so what I've done is disconnected the fan. The blower's not running inside, but I've got the fan disconnected here. Got good warm air coming out of the top of this thing, similar to what it does when it's in defrost cycle. And then uh, this thing should, when I de-energize the reversing valve, And as you can see, head pressure is still climbing. This reversing valve is stuck. And unfortunately in this situation, that valve is no longer available. So I'm gonna get some measurements on the pipes on the valve, roughly the body size of it. See if we can find one that we can come back and put in there and save them the cost of replacing the system. But, it is what it is. This is a good old Coleman, but yeah, so that's the problem we're having here. Confirmed. Reversing valve stuck closed. That's just a little tip I was putting out there. You can just jump this thing out, run it in cooling. It's a uh, thermostat's off, so we don't have a call for why, or we don't have a call for the reversing valve anyway. Um, so it's, it's in heat mode at the thermostat. It's actually turned off right now. But a little tip, you can jump out, turn, unplug your fan from the defrost board, jump out your Y and your O to your 24 volts that's coming outside. Get this thing on, build up that head pressure. And uh, it's kind of equalizing now because it's off, but build up that head pressure up to about 450, close to 500 PSI. When you enter, you de-energize that reversing valve, it should shift back over into heat and it's not, uh, this reversing valve is stuck. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys stay safe and uh, like, subscribe, share. Uh, like I said, uh, one of my other videos, just kind of getting started dabbling in this thing. Not gonna, you know, be a career uh, movie producer out here on YouTube. Um, it is what it is. If you get a chance to put something on here once in a while, I will. But this was an opportunity. So I took advantage of it. So like, subscribe, share. Um, any comments, suggestions, ideas, 
open open to all so uh leave them and uh we'll take a look at them at some point and uh you guys stay safe you gotta love it